First, we have to check the panel version. Choose Log About. We can see that the panel version is 61B03, that is version 3.0. After confirming the panel version, choose Advanced Save Data to U-Disk to export the panel. Configuration data to the USB. Choose Yes in the confirmation page to continue. After the data exporting is done, the page will show data copy complete. Then choose Yes and pull out the USB. According to the panel version, decompress the version 3.0 zip file. After decompressing, click to open the file to install the software PCSET V3.0. After installing, Insert the USB that has the panel configuration data into the computer. And click to open the file to confirm the content. Next, right-click the PC Set V 3.0 software. Choose Properties and open file location. Open data folder to delete all the files inside. After deleting, click to open the USB. Copy the files inside into the blank data folder. Then open the PC set V3.0 software. Choose Advanced Load Data to import data. After finishing the data importing, choose System Detector slash module setup to check whether the registered devices are correct. If the data is correct, then it proves that the USB is compatible with the panel and the software. Next, change the position content of the connected devices to ASMWARE.
Choose System Detector Slash Module Setup to check whether the data is imported correctly. Then save the data. Choose System I.O. Board Setup. Check only the I.O. Board 1 connected to the devices and save it. Choose System Zone Setup. Check Zone 1 and resound that the devices are connected to and save them. Next, choose Advanced Data Export to export the data. After finishing, right-click the PCZ V3.0 software. Choose Properties and open File Location. Clear the content of the USB, then open the data folder. Copy the files inside the USB. After copying, pull out the USB. Back to panel operation. Press the login button. Choose Access Level 3. Input the password. Log in the account, then press the menu button. Next, insert the USB configured from the software into the panel. Select Advanced. Load data from your disk. To import the data from the USB to the panel, pay attention that in the pop up page, there is a tip. Note restart the panel after it complete. Choose Yes to continue. It might take a while to export the data. Please be patient. After data exporting, the page will show data loading complete. Please restart the panel. After choosing Yes, pull out the USB and turn off the panel. Wait for about 20 seconds, then turn on the panel again. After restarting the panel, You need to check whether the imported data is correct. Repeat the previous operation. First, log in the account. Then press the menu button. Choose Bus Detector Slash Module Setup to check the data. We can see that the registered five devices are the same as those set on the software. 
at position part, we can see the ASIN where we entered before. The data on the panel is the same as that on the software. It means that the data is imported successfully. Next, choose Bus Loop Board Setup. And you can see that the I.O. board is the same as the previous setting. Next, choose Bus Zone Setup. And you can see Zone 1 and Resound are the same as the previous setting. After checking, the data import operation finishes. And the USB is adapted correctly. We recommend to use the USB provided by us. Or a USB with a small capacity, like a USB with 4G USB 2.0 transmission, to ensure the data import operation.